early diagnosis can guide us to early intervention and a specific intervention and a specific support to the families. Uh, we can use intervention that's, that we know uh, are evidence-based. Research on cerebral palsy in Spain has revealed that evidence-based assessment tools that accurately diagnose cerebral palsy have been underused in Spain and in many countries around the world. Pediatric Physical Therapy Journal reports the findings and names the diagnostic tools that are needed to bring a head start for children and give families support much sooner than has commonly been happening. The issue was uh, that uh, we are using um, appropriate tools which are recommended by the evidence-based guidelines for early safety detection such as Alberta Infomotor Scale but we are still using other outcomes that are, are not uh, evidence-based supported. The use of these uh, evidence tools are better because we can uh, do a prognosis about the, the CP uh, early and we can use a, a specific intervention to, to this CP. Alvaro, you've been looking at early detection of cerebral palsy and particularly the tools being used for that. Can you tell me what it was, what was the reason you undertook this study that you've now published? Yeah, we wanted to know uh, as a first step we wanted to scope uh, what we are doing, you know, in particular what pediatric physical therapy are doing in terms of uh, early CP detection and use of these evidence-based tools. Mm. And of course that's here in Spain, but many of the lessons coming out of this, I'm sure you were hoping, can be applied everywhere. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we are learning a lot from uh, our colleagues from New Zealand and the United States, which are uh, a long way uh, implementing on these, all these uh, tools and we are just starting in Spain like uh, other countries are starting to in Europe or around the world and can learn, can learn from our lessons learned here in Spain. Now I know you've got a passion for early detection of cerebral palsy. Why is early detection so important and how early can you detect this condition? It is really, really important. Uh, at the moment, we, in Spain, we don't know what age uh, in medium uh, we are uh, diagnosing CP. And that is really, really important uh, in terms of uh, um, supporting families and supporting babies with specific uh, interventions uh, for CP. To find out, though, the basic data about what is happening in the real world, here in Spain, you've been investigating this. Can you tell me what you did in your survey? Yeah, uh, we are trying to use, above all, two tools, uh, general movement assessments and the HIND, the Hammersmith Infant Neurological Examination. We know that the, tr the triangle of uh, GMs, HIND and Neuroimaging, uh, MRI, above all, uh, we can uh, have low rates of uh, CP detection and that's our focus because uh, we know that as physical therapists we are really good at uh, detecting for example clinical history and making a motor assessment and we think that using these uh, tools we can uh, like make our assessment procedures better. Mm. And as a result of physical therapists in the real world not necessarily using the most evidence-based tools, uh, you were getting diagnosis at a much later rate because you say you, you can meet five or six months as a diagnostic age. But what was a typical age that physical therapists and other diagnosticians were getting? Yeah, it was quite interesting because we ask uh, PTs what ages uh, their babies and their patients were diagnosed and they told us that it was around uh, a year. So it can be a first step to study what real ages we are diagnosing, uh, we are diagnosing CP in, in Spain because I think one, uh, one year it is, uh, could be uh, improved. Mm -hmm. So could you spell out for me which are 
the scales and procedures that you now recommend as a result of this survey that you've done? Yeah, uh, the international guidelines for early CP detection recommend about all a general movement assessment before five months and the hind. And these uh, two tools uh, with, for example, order with uh, conditional recommendations like the Alberta Inform Motor Scale can help us a lot, a lot to reduce our uh, and improve our uh, practices in terms of assessment. And this could be among children who you don't even suspect had any kind of problem b before. So are you recommending all children to be tested? Yeah, and that's, for example, a, a very interesting work and, uh, that they are developing in, in Australia and in New Zealand. Then, of course, it could be a further step for us here in, in Spain, not just implement these tools for children with early risk or early identifiable risk but for every children because as we have talked uh, before there are many children with don't go or don't have uh, problems at the, when they are newborn uh, they don't go to the NICU but of course they can develop uh, CP. Mm -hmm.